Hey friends, tonight we have a very tasty garlic lemon butter baked potato fans. This dish is very easy to make and I guarantee you won't want to miss out on this little snack. So stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, so you want to go ahead and just grab yourself a few potatoes. I'm using just some regular baked potatoes or cooking potatoes, but you can use any potatoes that you choose. So you can go ahead and remove the skin. Okay. You want to go ahead and give your potatoes a good wash in. I recommend you wash them in cold water to keep the skin from browning. Alright, so with your potatoes now, what you want to do sometimes, if you have something like this, or a toothpick almost, you can insert it into your potatoes and this will help to be like your guider so you don't cut through your potato. But I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to be winging it. So what you want to do is just cut your potato into slices. You're not trying to slice all the way through or down just enough so I'm not slicing all the way through just enough right here is good and you want to do this it's okay if you make a mistake don't worry about it try to go as slow as possible however thin or thick you want them really just depends on you So these are your potato fans and you can go ahead and do that for the rest. So once you're done making all your potatoes into like little fans, you want to go ahead and take a plate of melted butter. And with your grater, you want to go ahead and use the smallest side and grater a few cloves of garlic in this. And this is going to help to just fragrance these potato and just give them a really nice sweet garlicky flavor once you're done that you're going to take some onions and do the same thing just a small piece and last but not least you're going to take a piece of lemon and grate a little bit of that lemon zest into your dish And then you want to go ahead and just mix this together. Now whatever else you put in here is quite optional, but I'm going to put a little bit of my Italian seasoning. This has no taste at all. It's just basically some leaves. I'm going to put a pinch of black pepper. Put a little pinch of salt. You don't need too much. And then you just want to mix this together nicely to a nice little paste. Alright, so once you're done that, now you want to go ahead. If you have a brush, it would work nicer. But if you don't, that's okay. I'm just using a little spoon. And you just want to baste each of your potatoes. Be sure to try to get as much of this mixture in between the fans. So just spread it out. You just want to get these all in between your fins. Take your time, no rush. Just try to get as much of this butter, lemon, garlic sauce in here. This will make sure that each of your fans, potato fans, are seasoned so nicely, very nicely. And have a good amount of flavoring in them. You can rub some on the back as well. So you want to get this all over. Alright, so once that's done, you want to take a little bit of butter so that your potato fans do not stick to the bottom and then break apart once you're trying to remove them. You can use the cooking spray if you have that also, but if you don't, you can substitute and just use a little bit of butter. And then you want to place each of your fan right on there. And then if you have any extra of that sauce, you could just pour that right on. I'm just putting a teeny bit more of my Italian season on there. Just and pop these right. bad boys into my oven at 350 degrees for about 35 to 25 minutes, depending on how fast your oven works. So we're gonna set our timer for 35 minutes and I'll come back and check it in 25. All right, so with your grater, you wanna take a little piece of mozzarella cheese if you have, and then you wanna grater that. The finest part would be better, but I'm just gonna grater it on this big part right now. 
you can use a little bit of parmigiano cheese as well or even the mixed color cheese the cheddar cheese it's really all up to you I'm just adding a little bit of my Italian seasoning to this a bit of my black pepper and a pinch of salt and then you want to mix this in thoroughly all right, so it's been approximately 35 minutes since I popped these into my oven. So they look pretty good, almost finished, but they're not done just yet. So now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of my cheese on top. You don't have to put cheese on yours if you don't want to. You could just season yours to your liking and just bake them. They will come out just fine until the top is a nice brown glazed color. I'm not going to put cheese on all of them. For these last two, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more black pepper on these individually and a bit of salt. You want to go ahead and pop these back into your oven. And I'm putting mine on the top shelf and I'm going to put it for another 30 minutes and then they'll be all ready to go. Alright, so I have 50 minutes on my timer that's left. And now I'm just checking on my potatoes and they are looking pretty good so far. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is turn on my oven to 400 degrees. And this will get my potatoes nice and crispy. If you feel yours need to bake some more, go ahead and bake it a little longer. Alright guys, so here is the finished dish. Don't be afraid to try out this dish guys. It is very easy to make and I guarantee you will definitely enjoy it. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next dish. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye.